How many this time, Cynthia? Today, 23 or 24. If I get real creative. And I love to get creative. You should really aspire to use your time here more constructively instead of contemplating ways to take my life. But it's fun. Keeps the mind stimulated. And being stuck inside a dark little cell for 23 hours a day, I need to keep my mind stimulated. Or I'm afraid I might go crazy. Cynthia. Don't call me that! That name has no meaning to me. Obviously it does, if it stirs such a reaction. That's not who I am anymore. Birth records, fingerprints, DNA, they all beg to differ. Like it or not, you are Cynthia Alford, born Ronald and Beth Alford of Clinton, Maryland. A charming couple. Married 44 years and raising three children. They'd be celebrating 45 years today. They were still alive? Yes, if they were still alive. But they aren't, are they? No. They aren't. And why is that? I had a good sense to slaughter them in their sleep. Yes, you did. And, um, you still have not told anyone why you chose to do that. Is this why you keep bugging me every day? Hope to be the one who cracks the code? The one who unlocks my brain and finds out what really makes me tick? You expecting a book deal? A TV show? I'm not gonna be your meal ticket. You'll be smiling on your neck before that happens. Yes, um, you're always so interested in knives and cutting people. Where did that start? Don't worry. You will find out. And your garish costume? It um, seems to be a collision of styles and tastes. Asian, Native American. Does that give any indication of your background after you went on the run for murdering your family? Allegedly. I never had my due process for that crime after all. No. Authorities had to make their way past the dozen or so deaths brought about by you. Only 12. I am slacking. Cynthia. Fine! Want a sound bite? Something you can quote for little memoirs. There's no big reason I did it. My mother wasn't mean to me. My daddy didn't touch me in my private places. I just woke up one day and wanted to put that beautiful $300 steak knife my dad bought to good use. And then I ran. Because I wasn't delusional or crazy or listening to voices in my head. I know what I did was wrong, and I wasn't going to prison. Interesting. I found people who saw potential in my talent and a lack of a conscience. They refined me, put me to work. When I grew tired of that, I gutted them. Been on my own ever since. And how long has that been? Nope. That's all you get from me. And since there are eight different ways for me to get out these cuffs, Doctor, I suggest you don't ask me about it again.